Tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Andrew in Seattle writes in. It says, Hi, Tom. Do women involved in a serious relationship, married or otherwise, like to keep another male waiting in the wings? Most women are insecure. So, do they keep in close contact with some other guy, a quote-unquote good friend, who they are attracted to, just in case their current relationship flirting levels were high from these ladies? After I clued into the game, I felt used and quit answering their calls. I was already involved in a serious relationship. Anyway, he says it might be an interesting topic. That's Andrew in Seattle who wrote in. Andrew, I have very strong opinions about this subject. I'm glad you wrote in about this because um, I have a rule in relationships. Haven't always had it, but I have it now. It's very simple. No male friends. Meaning, no private lunches with men. No going out to a bar and having a drink with a man. No trips with men without me being around. Anyone who doesn't want to live up to those rules can't be in a relationship with me. It's that simple. I'm not controlling. I'm not dictatorial. Don't even try that on me. I'm controlling my own life. You can do anything you want. But I control my own life, and I don't want to be in a relationship where a woman is stringing two or three other guys along in case things don't work out with me. I know how the game is played. You're with me, but you have an ex-boyfriend who's now, let's say, with a girlfriend, or he's dating people, or whatever. And you're just calling the ex to keep in touch. He's a friend. He's a friend. You called him for his birthday. You bought him lunch for his birthday. You called to say Merry Christmas. You were at work and you were bored and you decided to dial him up at work where he was bored too. You got on America Online and you started chatting with him all day from work while I wasn't around. So you come into work at 9 in the morning, and by 9.05 you've logged on, and by 4.55 p.m. the instant message is bulging. You've been chatting with each other all day. Because he's your friend. And he tells you all about the problems he's having with his girlfriend, which is nothing more than a come online to get you to F him, and you pretend you don't know what he's doing, and you respond with all of my shortcomings, all of the things you don't like about me, to keep him on a string, to keep him thinking he has a chance with you. To make yourself appear to be in demand, and yet, to look perfect while the person you're with is dish dirt on. Ladies, I know how this game is played. Having 12 email addresses, having 16 screen names, taking calls on your cell phone, sending cute pages back and forth to each other. I know this game. And I make it real simple. You're a free agent. You can do whatever you like. But if you choose to do stuff like this, you're not with me. Be with him. Be with any number of other people, but not me. I won't tolerate. Now, if I'm deeply into a relationship with you, I will follow the same rules. 
doesn't make sense for me to be stringing along other people, to be meeting them for lunch. Like, guys hate eating lunch or dinner. In fact, can I tell you something? For the most part, I hate going out with chicks to meals, period. Especially if it's dating. I hate it. It's just a premise for getting together and forestalling what will inevitably happen later on. Later tonight, later next week, later this year. You know, all we're doing is killing time until you finally give it up. Don't kid yourselves, ladies. We we do not enjoy having meals with you. We enjoy the anticipation of what we might get down the line. That's the only reason we do it. Do we like eating? We do. But we don't like spending 75 or 100 bucks on a meal. And we don't like spending money on you unless you're going to give us what we want. That's just reality. I have always said that women uh, frequently have uh, what I call the guy warming up in the bullpen. Have you ever been with a woman who had an ex-boyfriend or an ex-husband or whatever? Usually it's an ex-boyfriend. And the ex-boyfriend doesn't really know what happened to her. So the ex-boyfriend will call once in a while, or he'll send an instant message, or he'll send an email. And somehow, the ex-boyfriend never knows that she's involved with you. She lives with you, she dates you, whatever. The ex doesn't really know. It's kind of ambiguous. And so you ask her, like, does he know about me? And and she says, well, I don't want to hurt his feelings. He'll be devastated if I tell him I'm with you. That is the biggest load of crap. And, and if anybody ever says that to you, forget about it. A woman who is doing that is stringing the other guy along in case things don't work out with you. That's why. Why in the world would somebody, I mean, well, he's just my friend, I have a right to have friends. Why wouldn't she tell her friend all about the good news about you, the great boyfriend she has? Why wouldn't she do that? You know why she wouldn't do that. Because if things, she thinks things might not work out. She has doubts about whether this is a definite, permanent situation. So... She has this backup plan. Could be an ex-boyfriend. Could be a guy who was close to getting into her panties before you did, but she kept his card anyway. You know the type. The type that keeps all the business cards. Ever been with a chick who has like a thousand business cards? 998 of them are of guys she met in clubs, and two of them were for actual business. You know, she met guys at uh, on street corners, bus stops, clubs, bars, whatever. You know the kind of business cards. You ever been with a girlfriend who's like, I met this guy today and he's a photographer and he wants to do some test shoots. I think he works for Playboy. Or how about the one, I met a guy today, he works for Guest Jeans and they're giving away free jeans to hot chicks and he gave me his card and told me to call him at home. Come on. Hello. I wasn't born yesterday. Though I suspect many of you guys were born yesterday. I was not, okay? Uh, here is my rule. None of that stuff goes on, okay? In other words, you're not calling the guy giving away the free clothing. You're not calling the guy who's a photographer. You're not calling the guy who is a casting director. You're not calling the guy who's a talent agent. You're not calling the guy who's a headhunter who hasn't seen your resume, but he can just tell by looking at you that you'd make a great corporate executive. You know what? You're not calling any of those guys. That's all the stuff I tell my boys to use on other chicks. If you're with me, you're not calling those guys. You're not calling them. You're not having drinks with them. You're not having breakfast, lunch, or dinner with them, or doing anything else with them. Ex-boyfriends want to talk to them? Great. You and I will have lunch with them. Ex-husbands? Even more so that simple can I make it any more clear I do believe that this whole list of guys the uh, phony photographers and the headhunters and the guys giving away free designer clothes and the guys who say uh, 
you know, you look like you've got potential as an actress. And all the guys who you used to go out with, all the guys who flirted with you, all the guys whose business card you carry around in your wallet, next to your pocket PC, you know who you're talking, who I'm talking about here. These are all the guys that you save all that stuff just in case you need. One day, things aren't looking good in the dating relationship you have. One day, you have a fight. One day, things aren't good. And you decide to let your fingers do the walking and dial up one of these guys. He's a friend. He's just a friend. Now, Andrew has been the guy in this situation. And he realizes how he's being used. Because here's the other side of the story that uh, when I talk about this subject, we don't usually talk about it. Many of these guys who are being strung along on the side never actually get into the panties. Many of these guys just have lunch. They do a little flirty flirt. Kissy kissy. And then that's where it stops. Doesn't go any further. Or ever been... Having those lunches with a chick or having that drink after work with a chick and you think eventually she's going to dump the boyfriend and suddenly she completely stops calling you, changes her phone number, changes her email address, changes her home address. You have no idea where she is. Do you know how many chicks I've known from the past? I don't know their name, address, phone number, screen name. I mean, it's like the witness protection program. They have completely changed everything. And it's because things worked out better with the boyfriend or the husband or whatever, and suddenly they completely disappear. So it's not as if these guys warming up in the bullpen always get what they want. In fact, many of them don't. Many of them never get anything. All they do is give these attention whores their time. The Starbucks coffee, the lunch... The flowers to the office on Valentine's Day that sit next to the boyfriend's flowers or the husband's flowers at the office. You know what I'm talking about. So Andrew wants to know whether women do this on purpose. Do they have guys waiting in the wings? Ladies, do you do that? Do you have a guy waiting in the wings? Do you have more than one? Are these guys people you would never have sex with or never do anything with unless you had a bad day in your relationship? Maybe you had a bad day and you did a little gropey grope uh, somewhere along the way and then finally you're like, mm, yeah, I'm not going to go any further with this. No matter which side of the story you're on, I'd like to hear your side. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. You have got to be like the lowest rung on the evolutionary ladder I've heard in a long time. Really? Yeah. The Tom Likas Show. Likas on Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. Hey, what's up? It's Cabby. And uh, I just want to read you something real quick. Cabby, you inspired me and my wife to shell out some bucks that we barely had to invest in Trim Spa. I've been huge since the age of 12, and I've lost 70 pounds. Now, I'm not going to say this person's name because they wish to remain anonymous, but hundreds of people have emailed me or come up to me and said, Cabby, you really inspired me to take Trim Spa, and it works. That's the coolest thing. Now, okay, I lost 100 pounds. That's a great thing. But other people are losing weight, and other people are inspired by these stories. So go to the website, www.trimspa.com, or give them a call, 1-800-TRIM-SPA. It's simple, it's fast, it's easy. It's delivered right to your house. You don't have to go out and get it, but you can. It is in some of the major nutritional stores around the country. Give them a call, 1-800-TRIM-SPA, or go to the website, www.trimspa.com. Change your life and take Trim Spa. Whether it's fair or not, people judge you by the word you use. In business and socially, your vocabulary and language skills tell everyone about your background, education, even your intelligence. That's why you need Verbal Advantage. While you listen, Verbal Advantage will give you the confidence that comes with a strong command of the English language. No more fumbling for the right word. No more embarrassment at how to express yourself. No more fear of using the wrong word. And it's so easy. To learn, you simply listen. When you want. Where you want. See why over 100,000 people have already gotten the Verbal Advantage they need for success. For free information about how Verbal Advantage will give you the word power you need for success, call now. 
1-800-546-WORD. That's 546-WORD. 1-800-546-WORD. If your radio sounds funny in the morning, you're listening to Imus in the Morning, only on Hot Talk 1080, KOTK. Back to Ann Corey for a second. Do you think that she thinks she's any good? Do you think that she thinks... Imus, what do you think I, she thinks? Imus, I... I, I like talking. I like doing an impersonation of Anne Curry. She does this. <laughs> she leans into the Ford oh, yeah. family and she says, oh. I'm. Uh, how, how do you feel today? <laughs> today, today, right now? How do you feel as a family? She I, I feel. That'll be fine. She is. Just... No, no, no. I can't. I get my hair curled when I, when I watch Anne Curry. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, it is so repugnant. I'm a friend of I, I love your shirt. <laughs> I think the color scheme in this studio is. Laura Ingram here. I miss in the morning. Only on Hot Talk 1080. KOTK. I miss in the morning. Protect your computer privacy now with Lexia Software, lexias.com. You may have personal letters, emails, pictures, or confidential business files. Keep them all from the prying eyes of co-workers, bosses, spouses, and children. Lexia's $39 solution is the best line of defense against hackers and unwelcome visitors. Previously only available to top security facilities, now install it in moments. L-E-X-I-A-S.com. Hot Talk 1080 K-O-T-K. It's the job like a show and weird traffic jam. Well, problems with an accident reported Highway 212 and 130 have watched for delays there. And I-5 northbound, some delays still from Portland Boulevard up and across the Interstate Bridge. I-5 south, uh, some slow traffic out of downtown uh, as you pass McCadam. It looks pretty good, though, once you pass Willow Boulevard. Outbound out of Banfield, slow from both directions of I-5 to 21st. The sunset, that heavy traffic from Highway 217 to Murray Road. Inbound sunset looking pretty good past 217 up and over the Sylvan Hill, and still some slowing Highway 217 South down from Allen to Denny. I'm Mike Moore. That's your commuter update on Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. Excuse me while I whip this out. Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. Oh, righty then. Hot Talk 1080. You're the greatest. KOTK. The Tom Like It Show, 1 800 5800 Tom is our telephone number. Lisa, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, but I was wondering, you know, I totally agree with what you're saying, and I think you're being more than fair. I've I've been the girlfriend that has strung guys along on the side, I admit it. And what you're saying is fair. You're saying if I want to see some ex boyfriend of mine for lunch, you you're saying you'd come along, right? And right. We're all going together. Huh? We're all yeah, going yeah. together. By the way, you know how many ex-boyfriends I've had lunch with as a result of making that offer? I think two. Yeah. You well, know, I mean, all just, my years. You'd be amazed how fast a woman says, well, it's not that important to see him. But I think what you're saying is more than fair. You're saying if I want to see him, you're coming along, and that's, that's cool, right? Right, but I you know, know as well as I do, he doesn't, the ex-boyfriend doesn't want me around. Right, but if I'm committed to you, and he knows that. If you're committed to me, that. you're not making appointments to have lunch with ex-boyfriends. Uh, right, and, but if he respects me, then he's willing to have lunch with you, right? If he's seeing you for the right reasons, right? That is, so, he's so a he friend. He which, by the way, ninety-nine percent of these guys don't just want to be your friend. Right. So if he doesn't want to see you, then I don't want to see him because Good. he's not really being my friend. Bing, right? bang, boom. Yes. Right. What what's your position on like gay male friends though? Because I have like three or four very good. Gay male friends. It depends on the purpose of seeing them. And can I tell you something? Hmm. 99% of the time that women are going out and seeing gay male friends, they're not having sex with them. But they are talking about the intimate details of their personal relationships. Because every gay man I know is a big yenta. Oh, totally, yeah. Well, I don't want my... You know what? I don't want the intimate details of my relationship discussed with a guy, a chick, or anybody. Yeah, but I mean, and if you need to do that, then you need to be with another guy. I would just say no to that, and yeah. I'm and I'm telling you, uh, that is what chicks get together with gay guys for—to well, gossip. 
Well, yeah, but it's not always about my relationship, you know, my, uh, well, my, uh... But you, I will bet you that right now I don't know you, I've talked to you for three minutes. Okay. And I'd be willing to bet you that every gay male friend you have at some time or another was told something personal about your relationship with your boyfriend or husband. Mm, probably. Cause... Right. Well, you know what? It's none of their goddamn business. Does your boy, you have a boyfriend or a husband? I have a boyfriend. Does your boyfriend know what you tell your friends about your relationship? Closest male friend is actually uh, my boyfriend's best friend. Do, so the, 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 whether it be men or women, fine. you tell other people about the intimate details of your relationship at one time or another, right? Yeah. Does your boyfriend know what details you tell and to whom? probably tells this one guy... That, yeah, no, no, I, we're not talking about him right now. We're talking about you. Okay. You know the question. Answer it. Yeah, he probably does. He knows everything you've told everybody. No, not everybody, but this one guy, yeah. No, no, no. Everybody. When you tell something intimate about your relationship to somebody else, why doesn't he know about it? I don't know. I just never, you know, I didn't think of bringing it up again. Well, isn't he supposed to be the love of your life, your best friend, your closest confidant? Yeah, but sometimes... You don't love him that much. It and it's resolved. You don't love him that much. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah, well, you know what? It's nobody else's business. Well, you know, sometimes it's like I don't want to hurt his feelings. Well, you know what? Then you don't have the right kind of relationship if you can't talk about everything. The Tom Likas Show. Only one radio station has the worldwide resources of CNN at your disposal 24 hours a day. Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. Showdown Iraq. This is the CNN Radio Special Report. I'm Stan Case. The tyrant will soon be gone. President Bush seeks to reassure the Iraqi people, even as he gives Saddam Hussein and his sons 48 hours to leave the country or face a military onslaught. We are a peaceful people, yet we're not a fragile people, and we will not be intimidated by thugs and killers. The president is urging the Iraqi military not to use weapons of mass destruction. Instead, he says, they should cooperate with coalition forces. I urge every member of the Iraqi military and intelligence services, if war comes, do not fight for a dying regime that is not worth your own life. Mr. Bush warns a war with Iraq could increase the dangers at home. And, in fact, the administration already has raised the terrorist threat level to orange, indicating a high risk of an attack. This is the CNN Radio Special Report. From the KOTK Newsroom, here's your Northwest Update. Jim Riley with news, brought to you by Goodyear. Get up to $50 cash at a cash car with the purchase of four selected Goodyear tires through April 5th. Call 1-800-GOODYEAR for complete details and the retailer nearest you. Henry Kissinger has asked if he's ever seen the French and German so belligerent. Uh. No, I have not seen relations between, between the United States and those of our allies who've been opposing us. The significant thing to remember here is it isn't just a difference of opinion. It is that France and Germany have been working actively around the world to thwart the United States and to oppose uh, the United States. That has never happened. Showers and fog tonight. Here rally the KOTK Newsroom. Laugh around the world at KOTK.com. A possible by Budget Computers, home of the $200 laptop. The Phil Hendry Show is now on Hot Talk 1080 KOTK twice a day. I can sound like Bin Laden. Listen to this. I'll die, I'll die. And the devil Americans will rue the day that they ever crossed paths with me, me, Osama Bin Laden. Your women will beg for my sacks. Your children will wish to become me, you motherless dogs. Phil Hendry, mornings at 10 and weeknights at 7, only on Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. Online check-in at AA.com. Available at a printer near you. Yep, you heard right. At home, in the office, heck, while you're making breakfast. In fact, wherever you have access to the Internet and a printer, online check-in is now the easiest way to get where you're going on American. Just log on to AA.com one hour to 12 hours before departure, print out your own boarding pass, and you're on your way. Because getting your boarding pass online means no line. 
online check-in at AA.com. Need a degree to advance your career? Then click on our radio banner now. Don't let long hours on the job keep you from career success. Earn your accredited degree or certificate on your time online via the University Alliance at www.degrees.us. Enjoy the convenience of learning from real professors via classes that you view on your computer, all from schools with solid reputations like Villanova University. Visit the University Alliance at www.degrees.us. Are you ready to get your share of the lottery millions being given away each and every week? Could you use an extra $1 million, $5 million, or even $10 million or more? The key to winning any amount is easy. You have to play the right numbers. Click on the lottery, AccuLotto.com banner right now to find out about AccuLotto's $10,000 winning guarantee and to find out how you can be the next lottery jackpot winner. Get a free guide to winning and playing the lottery just for visiting AccuLotto.com today. Are you determined to lose weight this year but worry about using a diet that contains ephedra? Then click on the tuner banner right now for an absolutely free limited time offer. Apple cider vinegar has been safely used for centuries as an all-natural effective way to lose weight. Apple cider vinegar contains powerful antioxidants and enzymes to detoxify your body while reducing your unwanted, unsightly fat. Look better and feel healthier this holiday season by clicking on your radio tuner banner now for details. Click on the banner now and find out how you can combine the power of your computer with the sound experience of the Bose Wave Radio. Whether it's your favorite CD, MP3, wave file, a broadcast from around the corner, or around the world, it's all just a click away. The Bose Wave PC system. Transform your ordinary PC into an extraordinary music center. Innovative Bose technology makes it all possible with the new Wave PC. So click on the banner now and try the Wave PC system at your home or in your office. Yes, how delightful it will be. A few decent heads of Gabby Ratchets prattling on about music and jelly beans and stickers. 12 to 3 every weekday. Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. This is the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles. At 1 800 5800 Tom. Do women keep uh, guys warming up in the bullpen? They keep uh, men. Uh, Waiting in the wings. Never know. The current relationship might or might not work out. Right? Well, let's say hello here to Marie on the Tom Like It Show. Hey, Tom. How you doing? All right, Marie. <laughs> hello? Hello. Hi. Hi. Well, um, Tom, I enjoy your show. Sometimes I don't agree with you, but a lot of times I do. Mm-hmm. Um, I just want to quickly say I do have to agree with you. When you have a relationship with someone, you don't want to tell your friends, gay or just a girl. You just don't want to tell them your intimate details because they might be interested in what you have. So I do agree with that. Um, I am married. I do have someone in the wings, and um, a lot of times I will see that person because sometimes my husband holds out on me. We get into a bad argument, and he holds out on intimacy. So I'm You like, mean sex? Your husband won't have yes. sex with you? Yes, yes, when he gets angry. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm, I have needs, too. So I go and I see my friend. Yeah, so you're not just seeing him, you're effing him. Wolf. Thank you, Marie. Well, Tom, can you give me a blow me up Jesus? Uh, okay, I'll give you this. Thank you, Jesus. 1-800-5800 Tom. He's our telephone number. Lindsay on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you doing? All right, Lindsay. I just want to say that the girl that was on before me is is an idiot, and that's the reason why most men don't want to get married, because women are dirty, nasty hoes. That is so ridiculous. She should have never got married, and she shouldn't stay married. She well, if I've learned anything from doing this show over the years, there's very few women you can trust as a man. Very and, and few. That's, that's sad, because that's sad for the good ones like me that are out there who are doing all the right things and still, you know, taking a shaft because of what other women have done previously, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. But what my question is for you is kind of like if the shoe was on the other foot and say like you have a fiance, like my situation. Um, I love him very much and he loves me. We live together. Um, we're getting married in September. And sometimes he'll, 
he'll leave and he'll um for a couple hours and then he'll tell me, Oh, I went to see so and such, whatever it is and and it's a dumb lie because I've followed him before, you know, trying to see if there was something going on and he goes and sits in a parking lot by himself. He's doing what? Your uh, phone is cutting out here, Lindsay. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, Dean's going to get a better connection so we can uh, figure out what Lindsay's trying to tell us here. I do want to hear. 1-800-5800-TOM-JACK on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. Hey, Jack. How you doing? Pretty good. Good. Hey, uh, yeah, I had a question for you. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you were talking about... Uh, you know, the cell phone and, you know, calling calling the guy on your cell phone and right. all that stuff. You know, he's just a guy from work, and we just go out at lunchtime, you know, smoke a little weed and have a little have a little hit off the bottle and all that, shit, you know. Uh, I was just wondering, uh, you know, you call her, I called her on that, and uh, all of a sudden the, uh, the cell phone... Records don't show any more calls, but I know they're still hooking up at, at lunch, you know. Uh, uh-huh. I just... Uh, well, why do you tolerate? Well, you know, I like I said, I, I threw down, I put my foot down and told her, you know, uh, at work kind of stuff, you know, okay, you can go out and have lunch with the guy for a half hour and, and uh, you know, but the, the calling on the cell phone off hours, all that stuff. Yeah, but so, so what happened? So then he starts calling her, and it doesn't show up on the bill. Well, yeah, well, yeah. I guess it, it shows as an incoming call. But right, but it doesn't show the number. Right, right. So, so why do you? I mean, you could hire a detective and uh, resolve this tomorrow. Yeah, I guess so, huh? I don't know why you put up with it. Yeah, I wouldn't put up with it. I yeah. I I don't want to put up with it, but I, I just don't have any proof that they're actually still. Well, you know, you, know, you could pay a private detective probably a hundred bucks and resolve this tomorrow. Yeah, <clears throat> but uh, you know, I look like the paranoid. Well, if, if look, if a, if a detective follows your wife and uh, uh, finds her sitting on a park bench having a sandwich, yeah, I guess it's no big. Now. She'll never know the difference. Yeah. So if I were you and you really this this really bothers you, uh, I'd uh, find out what the truth is, and then you essentially tell her. It, it, I I know what you're doing, and if you continue to do this, I'm out. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, I wouldn't tolerate. It. And when I say I wouldn't tolerate it, for all you people want to say you're controlling. No, I'm not controlling. Because because anybody can do whatever they want. You can't be in a relationship with me and do that. Right. You can That's get. Right. You want to go off and do that? I'm not going to imprison you. I'm not going to chain you to the bed. You go off and do whatever you want on your own. Right. Yeah, there's, you know, there's been late night, you know, 2, 3 in the morning, come home. I've been out with uh, my girlfriend, but I know he's there. But, uh, you know, I... I get that too. Oh, you're trying to control me. I gotta have friends. I need friends. And, right. You know. Well, it, no, I'm not trying to control you. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna completely give up control. Here are your divorce papers. Right. Right. That's it. And by, by the way, I don't want anyone to misinterpret what I'm saying. I'm not saying to get physical. I'm not saying to buy new locks and lock people in the house or anything like that. Right. Yeah. I'm not telling anybody to control anybody. You. I'm telling you to control your own life. You yeah. don't have to put up with that stuff. You don't. Yeah, you're right, Tom. I, and I appreciate it. I, uh, I think I'll do that. I'll get a, a private dick on her and see what the hell's going on. I'd do it if I were you, pal. Tom. Like it. Tom. Like it. 100. 100. Tom. 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 Yeah. The Tom Like It Show. Tom Like It. Only on Hot Dog 1080 KOTK. All right, folks, while we have a minute, let's go up to the uh, chopper with Brad Paul, get a traffic update. Brad, what do you see up there? Uh, thanks a lot, Scott. Nothing you're going to want to hear about, unfortunately. You can expect major delays on the interstate. An overturned tractor trailer has got traffic backed up for about 25 miles. It's a real bad situation, Scott, but I do have good news. Uh, what's that, Brad? I just saved a load of money on car insurance by switching to GEICO. See how much you could save. Visit GEICO.com. GEICO. 15 minutes online could save you 15% on car insurance.
Do you feel like your debt problems are beyond help? Now there's a nonprofit organization that can help you significantly reduce your monthly payments. It's called Ameridebt. Ameridebt can help reduce or even eliminate your interest rates, and they'll consolidate your bills into one lower monthly payment. If you have more than two thousand dollars in debt, call Ameridebt now for a free debt consultation. Not available in all states. Call one eight hundred three six five four two zero five. That's one eight hundred three six five. Four two zero five. Protect your computer privacy now with Lexia Software. L e x i a s dot com. You may have personal letters, emails, pictures, or confidential business files. Keep them all from the prying eyes of coworkers, bosses, spouses, and children. Lexia's thirty nine dollar solution is the best line of defense against hackers and unwelcome visitors. Previously only available to top security facilities, now install it in moments. Lexias.com. Hi, I'm Danny Bonaduce, and right now we're on a film set with the legendary rock band Kiss. They prepare to shoot a music video to help us deliver the big news. You can catch that '70s show all week long. Hey, Kiss is taking the stage, so I gotta go. But remember, folks, it's that '70s show all week long. Check that 70 show.com or local TV listings for time and channel. Hey, now listen up, boys. Do you like to watch? Then you'll like my new wireless color video camera from X10. Now I can see and record everything at any time. Would you like mine? You can't have it. You've got to get your own. But if you tell them that you're my friend, you can have this phenomenal full-color wireless video camera delivered free to your home or office today for only $79.99. Take it from me, boys. I know you'll like it. I sure do. Get your XPM2 from X10.com today. Hi, this is Tim Anderson with Budget Computers. We're home of the $200 laptop or the $200 PC. Come see us this back-to-school period where we've got special deals for everybody in every price range. We're down at 4040 Southwest 114th in beautiful downtown Beaverton. Our phone number down there is 503-646-1776. We're on the northwest corner of 217 and Canyon Road. See us today. Budget Computers, open Monday through Friday, 10 to 7, Saturday, 11 to 5. On the web at budcom.com. This week's special, 1 gigahertz budget box, only $3.99. An Imus. Tom Likas. John and Jeff. Hot Talk 1080, KOTK. Like his show, one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Easy, our telephone number. All right, now Lindsay's back on the phone with a better connection. Let's uh, finish up with Lindsay. All right. Hi, sorry about that. Okay. So where were we? Uh, your fiance. Okay. Yeah, for people who did not hear your call, and a lot of it cut out. Let's just start it again. Okay. So um, I've been seeing this guy for a while, yeah. and we decided that we're going to get married in September. And we're both very attractive people. And sometimes it's like when we get into an argument, he'll say, okay, and he'll just leave the house because we, we live together. And when he comes back, he's like, oh, so and such girl said to say hi to you or something, like he had been with a girl. And then um, so that I would get mad and, like, kind of argue with him and get pissed off. And so it started really bothering me. So I started following him, like, sometimes when he would leave to see where he was going. And he wasn't going anywhere. He was just going down the road and sitting in a parking lot and, like, listening to music for, like, an hour or so and then coming home. And so my question is, why would you do this? Why would you try to – I don't know if he's trying to, like, make me feel like I should be privileged to be with him or, like, make me feel like I'm, um, just, I don't know, disposable. It doesn't make any sense to me because, you know, we love each other and I don't see why we treat each other this way and why he wants me to think that he there's, there's a girl on the side. Well, why don't you just tell him? What I, you have to have guts. You know what? You have to take a risk. You just tell him. You're not gonna. He can do that, but you, he can't do it with you. Well, I've told him things like, "Oh, you should be happy that you're with me." No, no, what, no. That's not. That's, that's not the you. same. You have to tell him that the relationship will end if he insists on doing it. Okay, and then why, mean. It. Why do you guys do that, though? Well, again, it isn't just guys who do it. In fact, most of the people we've been talking about here are women. Yeah, but... We... You let him do it. That's why he does it. Yeah, but that's the difference, though, too. As I go to I go to work full-time, and I go to school full-time. So 
so I'm a busy person, but I make sure that I take care of him and that his needs are always satisfied. Well, clearly they're not. You're wrong. They're not. I don't know. I. They, I don't his know. needs are not satisfied. That's why he needs to do this. But he's not doing anything, and that's why I don't understand why. You don't know what he's doing. You know what he tells you. Well, I know that when I've followed him, he hasn't gone anywhere. See, you've had to follow him. Look how bad it is. You've had to follow him. I was curious. I don't want to be, you know, the stereotypical stupid girl. Tell him like, okay, this well, is... if you're cheating on me, then... I won't have a relationship. You see, the thing is, you don't have the guts to say what has to be said. Which is? I'm not going to be in a relationship like this. If you have to do this, you'll have to do it with somebody else. But see, the only problem with that is that it's only recently started coming to be a problem. I don't, I don't care. I don't care or... when it became a problem. I don't care. If somebody did this to me, I would say that. Even if you guys have, like, years together? I and... don't care. By the way, you're 22. You're too young to have years together with anybody. We do have years together. But you're too young to have be committed to one person. <laughs> you are. Well, And by the way, so's he, and that's why he's doing it. Okay? He's not 22. How old is he? He's older. How old? He's 26. Uh, well, you know what? He, I don't care if he's 26 or 56. Clearly, you don't satisfy all his needs. I don't. I don't know. There's no complaints about anything. He doesn't say, "Well, if you would." Oh no, no, he's voting with his feet. He <laughs> he doesn't say anything because what's he gonna say? You already work full time and go to school full time. Would that sound reasonable if he said, "You know what? I have needs. Stay home." Yeah, it would. And that would tell. Would you do it would, if he? I would honor that he he needed that. So you would stay home more. Yes, I would. Well, then you need to tell him that because you are not satisfying all his needs. That's kind of like how do you bring that up? That's kind of a touchy subject. Hey, dear, you know what? Relationships are full of touchy subjects. That's what yeah. it's all about. If you can't talk about the touchy stuff, you don't have a relationship. You got nothing. Well, that's not the problem. It's just that, what do I, am I supposed to be like, hey, I think you have a problem with it and supposed to pretend like... No, you it. have a problem. You it. have a problem with it. You don't want to live like that. You had to follow the guy, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want to live <laughs> like that? Very bad. Do you want to live like... Forget about how it sounds bad. You felt that way, and that means you don't want to live with this. Yeah, but also, you know, I'm not going to be naive enough to think that... Why are you uh, arguing with me about this? What? Why are you arguing? arguing with you? You don't like this. You don't feel comfortable. You feel uneasy. It makes you feel bad. Why it's, do yeah, you tolerate things like that? I'm a good catch, and I don't feel like he's Stop gonna, selling me I, on you. Clearly, if he thought you were that good a catch, he'd do whatever you want. I don't know. That's, but that's not saying anything, because there's all his friends are like, you know... All he does is, you know, talk about how good you, you are. You don't have know. the balls to tell him the truth. You don't. I just don't want And to... you will lose your relationship in time because of it. Do you think so? Yes, I do. Huh, that's, I don't, I don't know, it's kind of, I don't know, maybe I don't have balls, but it's just, I want I've lost relationships because of it. By the way, I'm not above this. I'm not saying I'm better than you. I know this because I've done it. How many how many relationships have you had? I'm 46. I've had more than one. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what happens when you just say, "Ooh, I don't want to touch a subject, and I don't want to talk." Come on, it's your life we're talking about here. It's your life. Forget about him being touchy. What about you? Well, for everything, every other aspect, I'm perfectly happy. This is I'm a big ask. This is big. This isn't like he parts his hair on the wrong side, okay? This yeah, is, is big. True. Because I, when when he asked me to marry him, I went through my phone. I deleted every guy's phone number. I sent out an email, you know, I'm getting mm -hmm. married, blah, blah, blah. I did everything that you would think somebody was supposed to do. Right. And it's just like all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he's like, oh, well, I'm going to go see my friend Jessica. And there's no Jessica. No, and uh, I don't understand. I just don't understand why a guy would do that. There, if, if I don't care. You know what my attitude would be? I don't care why he does it. Don't care. You so you would just be like, all right, tell her I said hi. <laughs> no, no. On the contrary, I'd say I'm not going to live in a relationship like this. So if you need yeah, to do this, be with her, then. you need to be with somebody else.
That's it. And then mean it. Yeah. You're only 22. You're plenty young to find other men. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't... And you're another one of these women who doesn't want to talk about tough subjects because it's too much work to go out and find another guy. No, that's I don't want to. You gotta go it. looking it's... and dating. And I've dated plenty of people, but this is the only time that I've been happy. You're like... not happy. Stop telling me you're happy. So because one thing bothers you, you it's big. It it's a big thing. What if it was only one thing that he liked to f other chicks? But other than that, he was a gentleman and he was wonderful. He just likes to f other women. No, that, but that's not right either. But it's, uh, you're willing to tolerate this stuff, Sean. What did you want to say to Lindsay here? You know, if you can't if you can't talk to this to, to your fiance about everything and tell him everything that's on your mind, then you have no business getting married to somebody. You know, I I almost lost my wife because. We were too chicken to say everything that was on our mind. You, I mean, you're getting married to this guy. Why can't you say everything that's on your mind? Thanks. The next time I call your show, we'll discuss that. Anyway, but... You can't. Not... That, I'm telling you. If you can't discuss everything, you have no relationship. It's not that the we other can't stuff, the fact it. that he sends you flowers and writes you poetry, isn't enough. You, you don't have a relationship with this guy. So it's not, you, that's the only thing that I don't think I'm, you know, communicating well enough with you. That is, is that the one, that is the most important thing anybody has in a relationship. You better learn that. 1-800-5800-TOM. Really? 1-800-5800-866. I know when my dad took the strap to me, I damn well deserved it. Nobody deserves that. You don't think you learned a lesson along the way? You turned out all right, didn't you? Yeah, I'm 46, and I learned not to have kids. That's what I learned. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. The Tom Likas Show. Like us on Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. Hi, I'm Derek Cope, race car driver and TV analyst. You've probably heard me talk about Avacor, the revolutionary hair regrowth system that has been successful for most everyone who's used it. Now, listen to what Avacor users have to say about this remarkable treatment. I am 39 years old. I've been slowly balding over the last 10 years. Thanks to Avacor, my hair is coming back and I couldn't be more excited. It's the best product that I've tried. Nothing has worked like this product to restore the hair that I had when I was in my 20s. Avacor is the product of the 21st century. Avacor is safe and effective. It's worked for tens of thousands of satisfied users, including me. Let Avacor work to regrow your hair naturally. Join the tens of thousands of satisfied customers who have reversed their hair loss with Avacor. It's guaranteed. Call 800-393-1369. Now you can use Avacor risk-free for one full year. It's guaranteed. Call 800-393-1369. Stock futures are slipping right now. S&P futures are dropping three points following President Bush's speech on Iraq. Hoping a war with Iraq would be swift, traders went on a buying spree today. The Dow soared 282 points, the Nasdaq added 52, and the S&P 500 was up 29. Taking a lead from Wall Street, the Nikkei in Tokyo is moving higher at this hour. It's jumping 167 points, or 2%. And news after the closing bell, Gateway is reducing its staff by 17%. It's also going to close 80 stores and take an $80 million charge. The personal computer maker is off a penny after hours. Applied Materials says it's cutting 2,000 jobs. The tech firm is also closing offices in California and Texas. Applied Materials is off a dime after hours. And on the economic calendar, tomorrow we get a report on housing starts. I'm John Wardock from the newsroom at MarketWatch.com. The following conversation is real. It took place on March 28, 2002 between a non-star advisor and a subscriber who was involved in an accident. Oh, sir, emergency. This is Timothy. It's been an emergency in your vehicle. Yes, there has been. I'm down into the woods. My car is totaled. I'm bleeding. I don't know how bad. Okay, right now I have you on Interstate 84. Somebody came across the other line. Okay, give me one moment. I'll contact police and send them out to your location. Okay. Middlebury Police and Fire Dispatch. Yes, my name is Timothy. I'm from Monster. I'd like to report a vehicle crash on Interstate 84. Anything can happen on the road. And when it does, it's nice to know there's OnStar. 24 hours a day, a live advisor can help you with virtually any situation. OnStar is available on many different cars and trucks. Visit your dealer today 
or log on to OnStar.com to learn more. OnStar, always there, always ready. The state police have it, and we'll have the fire department responding, too. Thank you, right. sir. Thank I'll you, start. OnStar. Doug Steffen, overnight. May I cut the cheese? I am not down with that. Doug Steffen. He's not on drugs. He's just weird. Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. Send us an email. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. You got that? Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. And call our comment line. 310-842-9592. The Tom Likas Show. K-O-T-K. Write us the Tom Likas Show. Post office box 4455. Hollywood, California, 90078. Email us. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Call our comment line. The number is area code 310-842-9592. From Los Angeles, it's the Tom Likas Show. Hot Talk 1080. Hot Talk. It's 7 o'clock. CNN Radio News. I'm Cheryl Castro. Saddam Hussein and his sons must leave Iraq within 48 hours. President Bush delivered that ultimatum to the Iraqi leader just a couple of hours ago in a 13-minute address from the White House. It was televised around the world. Senator John Warner says he believes there is only a very slight chance Saddam Hussein will leave Iraq voluntarily. What I think is that the, the probability is low, but I commend the president for at least giving them this one very clear last option which is understood not only here in the United States, but understood throughout the world. Bush told the people of Iraq the war is not intended to bring them to harm, only to rid them of their leaders. If we must begin a military campaign, it will be directed against the lawless men who rule your country, and not against you. As our coalition takes away their power, we will deliver the food and medicine you need. The president also addressed Iraqi troops, urging them not to fight for a dying regime. President Bush warned them not to destroy oil wells or unleash weapons of mass destruction. About the same time President Bush delivered his address, the national terrorist threat level was raised from yellow to orange or high. Intelligence sources suggest the Al-Qaeda terror network could attempt multiple attacks against U.S. and coalition targets worldwide in the event of a military attack on Iraq. Earlier in the day, the U.N. Secretary General ordered all U.N. staff to leave Iraq. Australia is dedicating its troops already positioned near Iraq to a U.S.-led war. They number around 2,000. Turkey's parliament could be voting again Wednesday for a proposal to all U.S. troops to launch an attack on Iraq from Turkish soil. The proposal was rejected earlier this month. This is CNN Radio News. Are you determined to lose weight this year but worry about using a diet that contains ephedra? Then click on the tuner banner right now for an absolutely free limited time offer. Apple cider vinegar has been safely used for centuries as an all-natural effective way to lose weight. Apple cider vinegar contains powerful antioxidants and enzymes to detoxify your body while reducing your unwanted unsightly.